Oh, that was too real. I'm editing that out. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I look a little bit crazy right now. My makeup's like a half done. And that is because today we are trying out a new primer and mascara from Marc Jacobs. So I have their little card here. So we have two products here to test out. These are relatively new, I believe. So there's the Velvet Epic Lash Primer, and then this is their Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I think the mascara has been around for a while and just the primer is new, but I haven't tried the mascara, so that'll be a first impressions too. So this is what the primer looks like. The packaging is super, super pretty and very Marc Jacobs s says it's supposed to prep lashes for a false lash look um, and a unique soft cream color, which you can kind of see it's this like beigey color. It also says it has peptides and pro vitamin B5, helps condition and promote thicker, fuller looking lashes. So that's cool. It's actually supposed to be good for your lashes too, uh, which is nice. Um, and it says back backstage tip. Use primer overnight and wake up to condition lashes. So apparently you can use this as like a treatment too to like basically just strengthen and condition the lashes. So that's kind of cool. Then we have their Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara, similar type of sort of hexagonal, octagonal? How many sides is this? Hexagonal, hexagonal packaging. It says it's instant volume, smudge proof, and concentrated black pigment. The one looks similar to the primer it looks super fluffy and volumizing these both retail for 26 dollars on sephora's website so that is kind of pricey but it's Marc jacobs it's kind of it's very on brand for them to be expensive <laughs> but anyway so if you were to get both that would be um 52 which is kind of expensive but i also want to try out the primer with just some of the or another mascara that i have in my collection so what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to do primer on both eyes i'm going to put the marc jacobs um mascara on one side and then i'm going to be using my milk makeup kush mascara on the other side i like this one a lot it's pretty volumizing as well um so that we can kind of see if the primer will work well with other mascaras and just test out the Marc Jacobs mascara as well. So basically with my lashes, um, they're a lot longer than they used to be. I've been using the Grande Lash Treatment and it's been helping along with the CBD oil in this mascara. Um, so they're a lot longer than they used to be, but uh, my biggest issue is that they kind of stick straight out and a little bit down so it's really hard for my lashes to hold a curl so that's really my biggest struggle so i want to see if maybe the primer will help with that or maybe it won't help with that we'll see um and then i also would like to just get some more volume into my lashes as well so those are my two main concerns with my lashes um otherwise let's uh let's just jump in try these products out so as you can see i did a very um soft natural look today because i wanted the lashes to be the star of the show um, so I'm going to start by taking my little Revlon um, eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes. Oh, that was pinchy. See, they're decently long. They just like don't curl. So I'm going to go in with the primer first. I thought this would be maybe cool too for some editorial looks to like lighten the lashes and get like a bleach effect because sometimes I'll do that with like concealer. I don't exactly know how much of this you're supposed to put on. I'm just gonna do kind of a healthy coat. So already they do look a lot thicker. I'm gonna do some on the bottom too. Why not? That's what the primer is looking like. It definitely did add quite a bit of volume. The no primer side and then this is the primer side. Obviously these are curled too but yeah, that looked really good. I don't exactly know how long you're supposed to wait, but it doesn't feel like super wet or anything, so I'm just gonna go in with the mascara. Typically, I don't like mascaras when they're super fresh. I like to like have them dry out because I find that they're a little bit heavy when they're fresh, but we're gonna try this out. I also do wanna try the mascara on its own at some point, but I wanted to focus on the primer today because it's like, a little bit more of a newer product. So if you don't like clumpy mascara, this is not for you. You can see my lashes are kind of sticking together a little bit on this side. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of fan them out a little bit with my little spoolie here. I don't really mind if it's a little clumpy as long as I can kind of brush it out like this. You do have to kind of build up the mascara to get rid of that sort of nude um, pigment. 
in the primer. Okay, so wow, that did definitely amp up the volume on my lashes. Um, they're quite fluffy. Um, it did add some length as well, I feel like. We'll see how it holds up throughout the day if that if it holds that curl. I might curl them again because sometimes I will do that um, to get those really big dramatic lashes. But let's try the other side with a different mascara. So I'm gonna do the same curl here. Yeah, I feel like this would be really cool, like even with a look like this for like a really like editorial vibe. I can kind of like it on its own. Um, so as you can see, that's just the primer and that's with the mascara right there. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I feel like this would not work well with like a super dry mascara formula because there just wouldn't be enough to really cover that pigment. All right, so again, that definitely added some volume. It does look fairly clumpy, so we'll have to brush through that. Yeah, I don't really feel like it's doing anything on the lower lash line. Maybe it will help it with wear time. I do find that Kush Mascara does transfer a little bit throughout the day. Um, so we'll kind of have to see how that goes, see if it helps at all. Well, maybe it did add a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Marc Jacobs on this side on the lower lash line. Wow, okay, looking at my lashes up close, they definitely look a lot thicker and fuller than they usually do. I think that primer really did make a difference. And they look that way on both sides. I do feel like this side looks slightly darker um, and a little bit more full than the Kush side. So I think that part of that has to do with the mascara itself. But yeah, my lashes look really good. I am gonna curl them another time because that's typically what I do when I do like a no falsies look is I'll do a second curl just to kind of hold them in place. So just to give you a little bit more of a close up, this is the Marc Jacobs side. And then this is the Kush Mascara side. All right, I zoom you guys back out to like a normal distance um so so far i'm pretty impressed my lashes pretty much almost never look this full and volumized um and i think it added some length too so i'm really happy with it so far um we're definitely gonna see how it wears throughout the day if it helps with transfer if it holds a curl all of that jazz um so yeah, I'm going to my therapist in a little bit, so I might cry and then we'll get a true wear test. Oh, that was too real. I'm editing that out. Anyways, so I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup. I will see you on later and uh, we'll see how this, this wore. Hello, it's like 3 p.m. right now. Um, it was 9 a.m. when I finished my makeup. So um, this is what we're looking like at the mascara. If I look like straight into the camera, you can tell the Marc Jacobs side looks like significantly bigger I feel like um when I have my glasses on and stuff like I hope nobody was like what is up with your eyelashes but it definitely does look bigger on the Marc Jacobs side that being said um the Kush side looks pretty good too from Milk Makeup it definitely amped that up it normally doesn't look quite so voluminous um and it's holding a curl pretty well normally my lashes have drooped down more than this throughout the day um but yeah, it's it's looking it's looking pretty nice. Anyways, like I said, it's about three o'clock right now, so I will check in with you again at the end of the night. All right, y'all. So we are back um, to take a look at this mascara, and um, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. I'm gonna zoom you in first, so we can just kind of compare and see how it's looking. So we're looking pretty similar to the first check-in. Um, I still think when I'm looking straight ahead. Um, I definitely um, see a difference um, from the Marc Jacobs side to the Milk side. The Marc Jacobs side looks just a little bit fuller and longer, so I definitely think that the best result for this primer is to use it with the mascara. Um, that being said, it definitely did amp up the Milk Makeup Mascara, so I think that this would be a good addition to any mascaras you have in your collection. Um, I'm starting to get a tiny bit of transfer on the Milk Makeup side. I usually do with this mascara, but I think overall it's held on pretty well. Um, Marc Jacobs side, this side I'm noticing less 
um, transfer um, and more sort of just flakes coming off on the cheek, um, which is annoying, but I mean, I can deal. I'm liking both sides. The curl held up pretty well throughout the day. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's zoom you back out. So in conclusion, I'm into these, man. Um, I think that the primer definitely did its job. It added a lot of volume and added some length and I feel like it helped um, the mascara really hold its curl and it helped it um, stay on a little better too throughout the day. Um, so I think that this is definitely worth picking up. I think that they do sell it in a mini size. Um, so I would maybe recommend trying that first to see if it works with your lashes or like other mascaras that you like. Um, this is hard to say how good this would be on its own because obviously I did use it with the primer. However, I do think the side with this mascara looks better. So I'm going to have to keep trying this on its own and seeing what it looks like um, and how it compares to some other mascaras in my collection. But overall, I absolutely love the combo of these two. I'm going to continue to use it. This is like, so normally when I wear like a no falsies look, um, it's usually with kind of more natural makeup like this and I'm like I like it at first and then throughout the day um, I feel like my lashes just kind of droop down um, They like flake off a little bit and I feel like By you know after a couple hours. I'm like man. I like I wish I had worn falsies I did not feel that way today. Um, and that's pretty amazing. I really love the way that my lashes look. I feel like they look so huge and they just make my eyes look bigger too. Um, and I know like I obviously don't have like supermodel lashes. Um, so they're like not the longest, fullest lashes ever, but I feel like this made them look that way. Um, and yeah, I'm just like, I'm really, I'm really liking it. Do keep in mind that this is just a first impressions and I will have to continue to try these products together and separately um, and definitely um, trying this one without the primer to see what it looks like. Um, but as of right now, despite the high price tag, I do think that these are really good products. So if you've been looking for a good lash primer or just a really good volumizing mascara, I think these are worth picking up. Um, but yeah, I will continue to update uh, you guys on how these things are working, but um, so far, I really like them and um, yeah, I think that's it for tonight's video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please hit that like button, please subscribe and maybe watch another video while you're at it. Um, I do upload about once a week or so. I hope you guys had a good time uh, watching this video and I will see you all again soon. Bye.